بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد continuing on in our درس in عقيدة واسطية شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى شيخ الإسلام said regarding the uh, the evidences for affirming that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne istawa ala al-arsh which is incredibly important because this is where Ahl sunnah and the people of innovation differ greatly for example the Ahbash the uh, beginning with the Jahmiyyah, the Mu'tazila, the Ashaira, the Matariyya, all of these groups uh, in one form or another deny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stowa ala arsh, or they make ta'wil or they negate it in some form or fashion. But Ahasunah we believe, and Shaykh Islam brings this very importantly, so we'll stick with his metan and go with the explanation of Shaykh Salah ibn Fuzan, which is very brief, concise, and very powerful in its argumentation. Qala Shaykh Islam, ifbat istawa ala al ala arsh. So this is affirming that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne, subhanahu. وَقَوْلُهُ الرَّحْمَنَ عَلَىٰ عَرْشِ إِسْتَوَىٰ فِي سَبْعَ مُوَادِعِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in seven places in the Qur'an mentioned that الرَّحْمَنَ عَلَىٰ عَرْشِ إِسْتَوَىٰ that the most merciful that he rose above his throne subhanahu wa ta'ala فِي سُرُوتُ الْعَرَاف وَقَوْلُهُ إِنَّ رَبُّكُمُ اللَّهُ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْعَرْضِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَامِ ثُمَّ إِسْتَوَىٰ عَلَىٰ الْعَرْشِ that verily your Lord is Allah, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who created the heavens and the earth. In six days, then he rose above his throne, subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ يُونِسْ عَلَيْهِ سَلَاتُ وَسَلَامُ إِنَّ رَبَّكُمُ اللَّهِ لَذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَامْ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَىٰ عَرْشِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned, verily your Lord is Allah, the one who created the heavens and the earth. In six days, then he rose above his throne. وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ الْرَعَدِ اللَّهَ لَذِي رَفَعَ السَّمَوَاتِ بِغَيْرِ عَمْدٍ تَرَوْنَهَا ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ الطَّاهَا الرَّحْمَنَ عَلَى الْعَرْشِ اسْتَوَى وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ الْفُرْقَانِ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ الرَّحْمَنِ وَقَالَ فِي سُرَةُ الْأَلِفْ لَامْ مِيمْ سَجْدَةَ اللَّهَ لَذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمْ فِي سِتَّةِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَامٍ دُمَ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ وَقَالَ فِي سُورَةِ الْحَدِيدِ هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَامٍ دُمَ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ All of those verses very clear mention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms this for himself in how many places we mention seven places in the Qur'an there's no way to escape from it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he rose above his throne Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the first verse, the most beneficent of all is so you know, rose over uh, the mighty throne in a manner that suits his majesty. And it's come in seven places in the Quran. Indeed, your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then rose above his throne. And in Surah Yunus, surely your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then rose above his throne. And of course, in a manner that suits His Majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah is He who raised the heavens without any pillars that you can see. Then He rose over the throne. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The most beneficent Allah rose over uh, the mighty throne. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Furqan, Then He rose over the throne in a manner that suits His Majesty. And in Surah Al-Sajda, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah, it is He who has created the heavens and the earth and all that is in between them in six days. Then He rose over the throne. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Hadid, He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then rose over the throne. And of course, in a manner that suits His Majesty subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of those verses, reveal for us and affirm for us that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah made istidlal, istidlal of those ayat, those verses in the Qur'an, he used them as a, a, a very powerful evidence to show us the aqid of Ahl sunnah that we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that suits his majesty. And we don't make, as we mentioned, countless 
uh, lectures that we don't make any comparison with how uh, human beings possess the attribute of rising. We don't make any comparison between Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we know and we affirm that Allah rose above his throne. And Sheikh Salim al-Fawzan brings some very powerful arguments, but first let's see what he says about these verses. He said, We yistafad minha janiyan. If bad is stowa, is stowa Allah ala arshihi ala ma yadid bi jalalihi. Wa fihi rad ala men awla is stowa bi anna istila wa kaha. Wa fasr al arsh bi annahu malk or mulk. Fa qala is stowa ala al arsh ma'anahu is stowa ala al malk ala al mulk wa kaha. Ghayrihi wa hada baatil min wujub kathira. So Shaykh Salim bin Fuzayn, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he begins to introduce his argument with regards to Istawa. And he says that what we benefit from these verses that we just mentioned is it affirms for us that Allah rose above his throne in a manner that suits his great majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is a refutation of those people who try to distort or, or change the meaning of Istawa to Istawa. And this is what the Ashaid and the Madridiyah, especially the Ashaid, they do this. And you'll find it uh, in their books, and you'll find it in their, those, those modern day Ashairas, uh, Ashiris, but you'll find it from the Mutaqaddimin, from amongst them. That they change the meaning, as we mentioned in our, our lecture before about the types of Ilhad, that they change the actual word of Isola. Uh, Isola, let's see if we can find a pen, a working pen. Isola, which we write like this in Arabic. Istoa, uh, isto they change Istoa, and they change it to them, it, you write it, you, you change it to mean, they change it in meaning, but they actually change the left of the word to Istoa, well, Isto, sorry, Istoa, they change it, so they've added this half here, they've added this in their meaning. They've added a harf that Allah did not add. And let's see what Shaykh Salim bin Fulzan says in, refut in refuting them, which the refutation is clear from the Qur'an in and of itself. But just to add strength, the Shaykh said that this affirms for us uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. And it is a refutation of those people who change the meaning of istawa to mean istawa. Uh, and istawa meaning that to grasp or take by force or with power or to overcome. So they change the meaning of Isoa that Allah, to, to mean that Allah possesses the throne, that he overcame the throne, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is Ba'atha in, in a variety of ways. It is false. And Shaykh Salah bin Fuzan, Fuzan Hafta wa ta'ala, proves this for us. So they explain, Mufassar al Arsh, the end of Muk, and they explain that the Arsh of Allah, of Rahman, that it means his dominion, what he, you know, uh, everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in, in the dominion. They explain al-arsh to mean that, but Ahl Sunnah goes with the, uh, the explanation of the Salaf al of the, the Mufassirin from the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in wa ta'bi'in wa ta'ba'a ta'bi'in, that they refer to the arsh as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's throne is one of the meanings, and there's other meanings, but Allah but, but uh, that is one of the most uh, strongest meanings in accordance with the tafsir of the Salaf al Sari. So we'll just refer to it as the Arsh of Rahman. So they say that Istola, Istola over the Arsh uh, means Istola, that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to their tafsir, Ahlul Ba'd, the people of, of innovation that they mean that Allah overtook or overpowers his dominion, you know, of, of his creation. And other than that, they have other uh, explanations, which are all false. And how are they false? Shaykh Salim al Fuzan mentions four very important things here. He said, first, قال الأول أن هذا تفسير محدث مخالف لتفسير السلف من الصحابة وتابعين وتباعهم وأول من قال به الجهمية والمعتزلة فهو مردود. So Shaykh Salim bin Fuzan, حفظه الله تعالى, he said that this tafsir that of changing of istola, istola to istola to istola, that this is the 
uh, this is the goes against and differs with the tafsir, the explanation of the salaf, meaning the sahaba, from the sahaba, and radiallahu ta'ala majma'in, and the tabi'in, rahimahullah ta'ala jami'in, meaning the followers of, and students of the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and those who followed them. So this goes against their tafsir, their, ex, their explanation. And the first people who made this explanation, this false explanation, is the jahmiyyah, the Mu'tazila, as we spoke about them before, and those other groups of the Mu'attala, those people who negate the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then the later people who denied this attribute is the Sha'ina wa Matariyya, that they change the meaning, which is in fact a type of negation, as we mentioned in our lecture about Ilhad fi Asma'in wa Sifat. The second way, this argument, their argument is batil, is false is as Shaykh Salam al Hussein says, لو كان مراد استوى على العرش استوى استيلاء على الملك لم يكون هناك فرق بين العرش والأرض السابع سفلى ودواب وجميع المخلوقات لأنه مستول على جميع ومالك للجميع فلا يكون لذكر العرش فائدة. So the Sheikh said that there would be no if it was meant. Istila, or you know, to take it by force, to grasp by force, or to overcome. Uh, if this was truly the meaning as they say it is, the Ashaira and so forth, they make the ta'wil in this. If it was, if it took that meaning, then there would be no benefit uh, for the mentioning of the arsh uh, with the heavens and the earth. If it, if it was according to their 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 meaning. There would not be a difference. Hunaka, lam yakum hunaka fark bain al arsh wal ard al sabah al sufla wal dawa wal jamia makhluqat. All those things were created by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The heavens, the heavens, the earth, and all of His creation, and all the the animals, and because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has power and authority over all of them, all of them are from His creation. So there would be no benefit of mentioning the arsh all throughout the Qur'an, seven places that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is still ala ala arsh, it's mentioned in the Qur'an and, and in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there would be no benefit of mentioning that and, and singularly uh, specifying the arsh as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifies if it meant is still ala, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses power over all of those things. The, the next argument that, that, that uh, destroys the argument of Ahl al-Batil and falsehood is the third argument which Shaykh Salah bin Fazan says, Hafidhu wa ta'ala, and the Hadha left is still out of the arsh. Qad attarada, qad attarada fil kitabi wa sunnah, wa lam yati fi left wahid is still out of the arsh, had to tafassar bihi bi baqiyat al nasus. So the Shaykh said that. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, so that's why we go back to the Nasus. Allah said, Istawa al Arsh. He said that he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed for himself that he rose above his throne. And there is nowhere in the Quran or the Sunnah that it is mentioned, Istawa, as they explain it. And if it were to be as they explain it, then there would be some evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah to show us that that is the tafsir of that. There would be something from the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to show us that. We have to have dalil if we're going to change the meaning, the, the, uh, the meaning that Allah has, has, has the, 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 uh, if we're going to make an explanation of the, the love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, other than what is apparent and clear and what's known from the Arabic language and what was known from the tafsir explanation of the Sahaba then we have to have evidence for going to that other meaning or to change the meaning in fact they've changed the meaning, they've changed the word itself their tahrif here they've changed the actual word istawa to istawa they've added a lamb they've added a lamb to alter the meaning you have to have dalil for that. You cannot do as you please in the religion of Islam. It has to be mansus uh, alayh. It has to come from the text of the Quran and the Sunnah and the ijma of the Salaf al-Saleh. And the last argument that Shaykh Salaf al-Fuzayn offers 
which deals with these Asheris and the Matariliyah. May Allah guide us in them. Oh Allah, please guide us in them and protect us from distorting your religion, Ya Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. The, the fourth argument, the last one, أَنْهُ أَتَى بِثُمَّ أَلَتِي تُفِيدَ تَرْتِيبُ وَمَهْلَ فَلَوْ كَانَ مَعْنَا إِسْتَوَى إِسْتِلَى عَلَى الْعَرْشْ وَقُدْرَ عَلَيْهِ لَمْ يَتَأَخْرُ ذَلِكْ إِلَى مَا بَعْدَ الْخَلْكِ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فَإِنَّ الْعَرْشْ كَانَ مُوْجُودًا قَبْلَ خَلْكَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ خَمْسِينَ أَلْفَ سَنَةً خمسين ألف سنة كما ثبت في صحيحين فكيف يجوز أن يكون غير قادر ولا مستولا عليه إلى أن خلق السماوات والأرض هذا من أبطل باطل والله عالم الشيخ صالح الفوزان حفظه الله تعالى beautifully articulated this and I'm going to try my best in translating this in accordance with his beautiful beneficial speech so the Shaykh said, Hafizullah Ta'ala here, as the last argument to deal with their false ta'wil, he said that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala uh, ta mentions in the ayah, Thumma istawa ala la arsh. Then he rose above the throne after creating the heavens and earth. What's the exact ayah that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala says? Fi kitabi al kareem Qala Subh'ana In one of the verses in Surah Al-Furqan, وقال في سورة الفرقان ثم استوى على العرش الرحمن then he rose over the arch of the Rahman the most beneficent or the most merciful and Allah سبحانه وتعالى says also in سورة الحديد هو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش ثم استوى على العرش so Allah created the heavens and earth then he rose above his throne so the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about himself thumma, that he rose above the stone after creating the heavens and earth and it's well known that the ash was created uh, before the heavens and earth by 50,000 years as a, in accordance with the had, uh, uh, hadith that's mentioned in Sahihain and, and Bukhari and Muslim that mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the ash 50,000 years before his other creation then mentioning that, uh, so since that's the case, that the arsh was before the creation of the heavens and the earth by 50,000 years, as was mentioned in uh, Bukhari and Muslim, then how could it be possible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we go by their tafsir, the tafsir of the Asha'ira, that says istola, you know, to take by force or to have power and so forth, that they, according to their logic, that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not uh, make uh, istila is, is, is over the arsh, even though he created it before the heavens and earth, that he didn't have power. If we go by their tafsir, it, it's as if to say Allah didn't have power or istila uh, over the arsh. Although he created before, so what was the arsh? The Allah didn't have a power over the arsh before then? وَعِيَادَ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ May Allah protect us from this evil tafsir. And uh, so that wouldn't even make sense. And this shows, as Shaykh Salam bin Fuzan says, هَذَا مِنْ أَبْتَلْ بَاطِلْ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى He said this is the, uh, the greatest of falsehoods, and Allah knows best. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be a source of guidance for us all.